I don't, I've never done, my, my, uh, but I've never hit a man. I just need a reason to do it. The thing is nobody ever like makes fun of me or anything. Yeah. So I don't have to punch them. <clears throat> it makes no sense that everyone's out here exercising alone. I mean, aren't we all alone enough? All I'm saying is that working out with a partner is worth trying. There are actually some websites now where you can find a workout partner. It's like Tinder, but for workout partners and not formatted like Tinder. So I thought it was worth trying because lonely as hell. I edit that out. I, uh, because I just am tired of working out alone or whatever. Bull Squad's a new platform or startup. Uh, we're matching workout partners. You're not the first place to do this. Finding a workout partner, no. It's been done yeah. before. We have an algorithm though, uh, which oh. really kind of hones in on like finding a workout partner that's going to help you, you know, achieve your fitness goal. I mean, they've done studies where uh, the participants they burn 236 calories working out with a partner, compared to 195 when working out on their own. Really? So there was that increased intensity there, you know, that motivation. Yeah, you, from working out with you someone. people are competitive. Even if you describe yourself as not competitive, people are competitive. Yeah, I think that naturally comes out with, you know, when you have someone kind of pushing you and someone there. I met a workout partner on, okay. on Well Squad, and he, he seemed to have uh, similar fitness goals to me. Very nice. From Brooklyn, New York, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Cheryl Big Baby. How high can you kick? I kick pretty high. I probably kick maybe like leg or stomach height. Yeah, I played soccer when I was little. <laughs> but if you, you actually get penalized for a high kick in soccer, unless you're doing one of those bicycle kicks. Oh. Um, because I don't know why, it's dangerous. Why do you think people don't all already work out with workout partners? I think they don't really have a way of doing so. You feel you like know? they're bothering someone else? Yeah. Everyone's yeah, walking around so. with their headphones in, all jacked up on Red Bull, just right, looking right. really aggressive. And you take a big one? No. Can't. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so you just basically do this yeah. kind of thrusting your head I'm just forward. more scared than anything. So many people are going through the world looking for romantic relationships, by which they mean someone to sit across from a table and drink wine and sort of compare life histories and resumes. Right. And yet we have very few people who are looking for a workout relationship. I mean, if it becomes sexual afterwards, who's to say? Who's to say? That's the motto of your company, right? Not necessarily. What kind of boxer do I remind you of, like a famous one? <laughs> Pee Wee Herman, but it's all right though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, almost there. Hands up, hands up. All right. Bend your knees. Hey, what about over here? Oh! <laughs> it might work, it might work, it might work. They go like I'm, this. I'm, Let's do it, just do it. So I go here and then, boom. Boom. That ain't hurt, right? Yeah, no, it's it good. Did. Okay, no, good. no, no, it's good, it's good. I thought you were going to cry for a second. I don't cry all the time. Yeah, all, all the time? Not sometimes, but, Go. Hit. You know, Go. Real, real, real men cry. Yeah, I, I probably want someone who tests my limits, and not someone who's just going to go and have a baby and forget about you and uh, be like, ah, oh, you know, now I'm a grown-up, and you're not a grown-up. You, you don't have a kid. Uh, you don't, you know, own a, a house. We can hang out sometimes, but you're not my best friend anymore. My best friend is my new wife. I just don't want to get too bulky. Squat a little more. Good. I don't. I don't want to still be able to move around the ring. Good. Four more. Because that's what One. happens when I work out. I just get so huge. Two. Five. Time break. <laughs> it seemed like he was completely exhausted. Jimmy is going to another workout. I'm going to another workout too. I have a standing desk. On camera, you know, he was having fun. He was a little, he was joshing me. He was a little reticent to uh, go ahead and say much a positive about my performance. But on the way out, he, you know, he looked me square in the eye and he said, Dr. Hamlin, you are the toughest man I've ever met. And I've met a lot of tough men. I don't think he said that. <laughs>